Hey, y'all. <laughs> Feels like I've been here and done this before. Mud character. <laughs> Let's do this. Whoop, whoop. I've been running a marathon. I'm trying to get out of the house and get packed. And as soon as I needed to come to the truck and bring stuff, it started raining, of course. Anyway, I'm here. I made it. Hopefully I make it to Greensboro. This farm wife is heading off the farm one more time to go speak, which I already told y'all about in the last video. Anywho, here we go. Yay! Except for the rain. <sighs> never fails around here. It just never fails. So, it's all good. It's cold though. It's cold enough to be snow. Well, I mean, obviously it's not cold enough to be snow or it would be snow, but it's 36 degrees and it's cold. Martin said he saw some big fat flakes earlier. Anyway, it's kind of like if it's going to be this cold and it's going to precipitate, it should just be snow. I don't, I don't know if we're going to see a snow this year. We usually have a good snow or two or three and we haven't had anything. Oh well. We've had enough rain. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we can see. See who we can see. I'm excited. Well, I had to make one stop at the library because I've been trying to load my video for over 24 hours. So, I'm going to get this taken care of and then get out of town. First world problems. Okay, made it. Here we go, definitely not on the farm feeding in the mud this morning. Going to talk to some folks, super excited. It's gonna be a good day. Here we are y'all in the auditorium with no people yet, but it's all set up. Got my little presentation ready to go. Let's do this. Whoop, whoop. Hey y'all, that's done. That's really good. I feel really good about it. I gave my two talks this morning. Met some awesome people. Had some great conversations, some questions. Um, just a really good day. A really good day connecting with other farmers in my state. And other women farming and doing all the things. Um, yeah. Super, super pumped about this event and super honored that I was asked to be a part of it. So, yay. Now, let's go home and get back to it. Oh, I know my son had to deal with a lot of mud with his dad this morning. So, mom will take back over tomorrow. <laughs>
What are you saying, Elmo? Huh? Really? You hungry? Got a new bag of feed while I was gone. Yeah. Is it breakfast time? Here we go, buddy. Is that what you wanted? Quit, Clara. Hey, monkey doodle. These puppies doing. <laughs> hey, buddy, come meet your feed. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the mud again. <laughs> Patiently. <laughs> yeah, we got a fresh little crop of mud. Good morning, Panda. How are you? Good. <laughs> Go get your breakfast. Eat up, fluffy butts. Well, it's Groundhog Day, but every day feels like Groundhog Day, kinda, right? actually saw Puxatawney, Punxatawney, that groundhog on TV. I saw him this morning do his decree and he said, he said spring was coming. So, hey, take it from the groundhog. I mean, I'll take whatever I can get. I hope he's right. <laughs> I mean, spring is coming anyway, every year. It always comes, just sometimes not as soon as we want. <laughs> Time to jump start. Jump start Sunday. <laughs> it's a little chilly. A little chilly on the hill, isn't it, Bonnie? Not down here, Mom. Not with the heat blowing on your back. I hear the tractor. You hear the tractor coming, Bonnie? <laughs> It's not just any Sunday, it's Super Bowl Sunday, which is kind of just like any Sunday here because honestly, we don't follow, uh, what is that, professional football? We don't really follow any sports, which is kind of weird. Also, there's a toilet being flushed in the background. That's about as real as it gets. Anywho, I digress. Um, yeah, we don't really follow sports around here, but it's Super Bowl and... We like to eat and we like to watch the Super Bowl and the commercials and all those especially things, right? The commercials. Oh, especially the commercials, you said. So, 
Um, I have to take my son to youth group. They're meeting early today. And so what I'm doing is I'm making a little concoction. Doesn't that look yummy? It's Velveeta. Um, I've ground some hamburger. I'm doing this dip that I really like to do, usually with sausage, but I don't have a whole lot of ground sausage and I don't wanna use it on this, so I'm using hamburger. And then I'm just making a concoction and I'm gonna put Velveeta, I'm gonna put cream cheese, I'm gonna put Rotel tomatoes, maybe some salsa, one or the other, something like that. And then maybe I'm gonna buy some jalapenos, Ooh. maybe, that's hot. I don't really like spicy, well, but the boys don't. do. Yeah. The girls don't, but the guys do. So anyway, I'm gonna put all that together in the crock pot and then we're gonna put it over Tostitos, maybe with some sour cream, because we like sour cream, yeah. And that's about as fancy as we're getting for the Super Bowl. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, I'll let you know if it's A-OK -okay or not. Mmm, doesn't that look kind of gross? <laughs> well, it's done. It's not going to taste gross. I mean, because I've already tasted it like five times. Um, I have a problem. I have a problem with tasting stuff that I'm cooking. That's why I always burn my lips, but this isn't hot. But it's good. It's going to be a lot better when it is hot, I think, <laughs> instead of cold. Bonnie is um, laying under the table, moaning, because she has a very rough life. You have a rough life, don't you, Bonnie? Yes. We all feel very sorry for you. Very sorry. Well, I'm back. Survey says, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, it's very hot though, and I just peeled, um, like half of the roof of my mouth off because that's what I do on a regular basis when I test hot food I either burn my lip or the roof of my mouth yeah so maybe we're not gonna actually watch the Super Bowl because we use an antenna and the antenna is not feeling it tonight it's not feeling it and half the time when we try to move it it doesn't work so we're those people mm-hmm Anybody else out there just use an antenna? I mean, we just don't watch much TV. Um, and many years ago, I decided to cut the cord with satellite. We don't even have access to cable. So, I just didn't feel like it was worth paying for to just sit there and do this the all like all the time. Literally all the time. Why do I want to pay a bunch of money to do that all the time? Mm-mm. So, antenna it is, and for the most part, it works fine. We watch, like, old westerns, Andy Griffith. Uh, that's about it. And evidently not the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'll find out who won online. Look at this one, y'all. <laughs> I just happened to look, and there it is. That'll do, won't it? Good way to start the week. Let's do this. The top wasn't on. Say it over. It ain't over. Oh. Said it was blowing feet out yesterday. That's not good. <laughs> Deja vu. Hey, buddy. Fancy seeing you at the gate. I've actually got on more layers than I need this morning. It's warm. It's gonna be 71 today. I wish I could just sit outside all day. <laughs> oh. We will take it while it's here. Sunshine and warm. So we have, I don't know, four or five more days of rain coming at the end of the week. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Come and get it. Hurry up, Panda, there you are. I see you. Getting in the short rows, aren't we? 
You think we'll make it through February? You hope? Do you think we're going to have to buy more hay? Yep. Yep. <laughs> we have a source, right? We got some. I don't know how much. <sighs> got a promise. To post that we got a promise. <laughs> Hopefully a promise we can hold to. Okay, the race is on. Even though he doesn't know it's a race, I like to race and see if I can get my strings off faster than him. Go. One, I'm done. He's not done. It's the little things, y'all. It's the little things. Must be gonna move that ring. Yep. Look out, babies. Hey, cutie. What you looking at? I just want to like rub all of them. I just want to rub you. Fuzzy Wuzzy. If Fuzzy Wuzzy was a calf, it would be all of these. <laughs> water again. <laughs> oh. Well, there's a ditch. Nice. <laughs> Just checking to see if it's dry enough to spray today. You believe it'll be all right? What are you spraying? Perfect harmony. Harmony? Get all these broad leaf weeds. To get the broad leaf weeds. There's a few out here. <laughs> okay, I hope that works. Oh, something to put it on. Uh, it's it's where it needs to be on the other side but not this side and it's a pain it's a pain to get that into there oh <laughs> it's always something frustrating. It's frustrating when stuff just won't work. That shouldn't be hard, you know? Some things just shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> there we go! Whoop, whoop. Oh, of course, I put on my good boots.
Okay, y'all, since this vlog is already all over the place, just a hodgepodge, we're just gonna keep it going. I'm back in the kitchen doing supper, and this is one of my favorite things to do with a sirloin tip roast. Basically, I just make roast beef out of it, but it's very, very, very easy and very, very, very good. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So I have my roast. It's been in the refrigerator thawing for a couple of days because I went out of town and I forgot about it. It's all good though. It looks a little split. Anyway, I'm gonna take it out of this. I'm gonna put some good stuff on it and then we're gonna put it in the oven. While I'm doing that, I've got the oven preheating to 500 degrees. Here, let me show you. Bake, 500 start. Okay. That is an empty grease jar that needs some bacon grease in it. Noted. Okay, I put a little EVOO, that would be extra virgin olive oil, on it. And I'm just gonna rub that on it. And I'm gonna put some salt and some pepper, maybe a little like steak seasoning that I like. And then we're gonna pop this bad boy in the oven. Hold tight, I'm gonna show you. This is, this is pretty fun. I'm sure fresh cracked black pepper would be awesome, but I don't have that. <laughs> so this will work. This will work. All right, give it a flip. Can you have too much pepper and salt? Um, not really. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. All right. Real quick, shout out to Martin County Pork Producers. Um, yeah, this is called Mar Martin County Pork Producers Martin County Magic from Fairmont, Minnesota. Someone on Instagram sent me this. Someone that follows me on Instagram sent me this and I really love it. <laughs> I love it on everything. And tonight it's going on the sirloin tip rice. Okay, now I'm gonna take that I'm just gonna get a little, get a little juice. I'm just gonna take it and put it in the cast iron skillet. And once this reaches 500, I'm gonna put it in there for five minutes per pound. So this was two and a half pounds. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go less. And he's off. We'll go check on him later. Once I get the roast going. <laughs> Okay, so for this recipe, the roast goes in the oven at 500 degrees and you leave it in there for five minutes per pound. Mine's two and a half pounds. So I'm gonna leave it in there for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna leave it in there for 10 minutes. And then you turn the oven off and you leave the door closed and I leave it in there for an hour. And a lot of the recipes online say two hours, but if you leave it in there for two hours, what you have is a roast that is well done, and that is not well done. A well done roast is not well done, or done well, however you wanna say that. I like our, we like our roast medium rare to rare. <laughs> so, I'm gonna pull it out after an hour and it should be good to go. So, it's that easy and it's so good, I promise. I'll show you. Okay, the oven's ready. The roast is in the skillet. You could put this in a pan, whatever your heart desires. Close the door, set the timer, 10 minutes, start, and there we go. A little field is getting sprayed. That foam you see, it's called a foam marker. And it's basically just suds, soap, basically, that 
helps him know where he's been. That looked like a good spot to lay, Bonnie. Are you supposed to be up in my seat? Are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I thought I was gonna be able to catch him in the big field, but I just talked to him on the phone and he said he'd already finished it. He did that fast. In his words, he don't play. <laughs> But he's got one more field to do in the morning. We'll go check that one out and try to wrap up this very um, discombobulated vlog. Big word. Big word alert. Probably didn't even use it correctly. And here we have it, y'all. I mean, it looks good on the outside. I'm going to cut it and show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah. If anything, I wish I had taken it out even a little bit sooner. Uh, see that? Oh, but it almost burned your hair. Yeah, it's good. And it's juicy. But for a roast this small, I probably could have taken it out at least 15 or 20 minutes earlier. Still good though, still good. And that is that. Hmm. Okay, I gotta stop eating it. Good morning, Spunky. You need some feed, huh? Well, yeah, Mom. I'm good. All right, good stuff. All right, can we do this without knocking it out? Yes, we did. Minerals? We have minerals. We have Elmo snouts, Elmo tongue, and you've got a bucket full of fresh water from last night even. You doing okay, monkey? Sunshine. It's warm. It's like in the 50s this morning. Is that good stuff? Yes, yes it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's go feed the big cows and the other babies. Turn the radio up for you, buddy. See you later, Gator. I mean, I don't know if, I, if calves like music, but I like leaving it on for them. Makes me feel better. Well, it feels like spring, y'all. No bibs this morning. Just my new fern hooded zippy zipper jacket they gave me, which is amazing. Super soft. Anywho. Um, and yesterday it wasn't supposed to rain till Thursday. Guess what's coming? Rain on the radar. So he's going to try to spray uh, this morning right after we do this and then we'll feed silage later. The mud forecast. It's definitely dried up some in the past few days. So I guess it was time for it to get rehydrated. You know, you wouldn't want your mud to dry out. <laughs> hey, Panda. Hey, pretty girl. Go get your breakfast. Alrighty then. Yep. Um, good deal. I definitely just ducked. Old habits die hard. I'll just keep ducking and be extra, extra safe. <laughs> Back at the corn crib. So, as it happens, I didn't finish putting up this stuff last week. And now it's going to rain. So, I just moved the air conditioned back inside. I was going to take it to the basement. But... My truck is not cooperating, y'all. I, um, and I'm frustrated. 
you've noticed, some of y'all have noticed that the transmission light is always on in my truck. I, I am well aware. It's been on for years. It's actually been overhauled twice and they just can't seem to quite get it fixed. It shifts really hard in between gears, but it runs. And I just said, well, I'll keep driving it until it doesn't run anymore. And then the radio doesn't work and that's fine. I use a Bluetooth speaker, but it works. But I have another problem now, which makes my truck completely useless to me. The tailgate's not working. It won't work. It won't, the latch isn't, isn't connecting or something. And that is more frustrating to me right now than any other problem with my 13 year old Chevy. And I know it's still a first world problem, but it's frustrating me because I can't, I can't load stuff in a truck that I can't get the tailgate down. <laughs> All right, that's done. That is done for now, Bonnie. We're gonna go in and do some homeschool while he sprays and then we'll feed silage later and hope it doesn't rain a lot. Well, the kids are doing well with their school this morning. Got them settled and going and doing what they can on their own until I get back. I'm going to check on the farmer spraying. It is starting to sprinkle a little bit. And then we're gonna feed. And Bonnie, <laughs> Bonnie, what are you doing? Bonnie, why don't you sit down? Make yourself comfortable. Hmm, that was my tag from this weekend. That a dog stepped on. <laughs> you tell Ray good morning? Okay. There, that makes me more, that makes me less nervous. Sit down. I see a bunch of foam. I might have already missed him spraying. He's a fast little booger. I don't see him. There he is. Grow, barley, grow. Die, weeds, die. about spraying like this with it sprinkling it's not well, gonna hurt it